gonna let you guys choose because like my poems never go for 320 minutes so you can do like I'm gonna do a poem either about body image or a poem about my father One. Body looks like an you have such a pretty face he says and a tone that implies that the rest of my body was somehow exempt from the compliment like I was supposed to smile and say thank you in complete lack of common sense that it's what he didn't say. Well, I'm sure that's what he meant. I am willing to bet that this continent that lies below my neck contains the scenery he wasn't able to appreciate yet. His aesthetics needed some tweaking. So I carefully picked my words like apples from trees before I began speaking. He was blithely unaware of the fact that my face don't hold a candle to the rest of me. It is not the key factor that has helped many a sibling find rest in me. See, I have served as pillow for little brothers in church pews, comforted my lovers as they basked in blue hues. I have been deemed personal daddy teddy bear enough times to make Build-A-Bear jealous. Keep nightmares at bay under my spell. It's this statue that contains so many details. Michelangelo couldn't correctly carve out my waist. God got happy with the mold and added more chocolate. My face is just the icing on the cake. So if you were looking for something thin, then I suggest you count me out. Pencils are easily broken, baby. I am a brick house. With thighs, with thighs as big as redwoods, I stand firm in my foundation and hips as big as the women before me who have given birth to nations. More often than not, a woman's worth is based on her utility. Well, I can rock a baby to sleep in built in shows while cooking dinner and never miss a beat. I can rock your world whenever I wear denim with jeans that fit like God had to pour me in them. See, this continent is probably reminiscent of grandmothers who have calmed many a storm or the woman who gained more than a few pounds in the nine months before you were born. Yes, I know my eyes eyes are captivating, stare into the abyss, and I could probably stop traffic with just one lick of these big lips, but I am absolutely sure that when he complimented my face, that's not what he meant. I am willing to bet that this continent that lies below my neck contains the scenery he wasn't able to appreciate yet. Yes, I know I have a pretty face, but all of me is a pretty place, and it is all of me that makes me amazing. <laughs> Ashley Hayes, last round. You can tell the enthusiasm of the judges because they make big scores.